have lock-ins at the church, man. They be having hella shit at the nigga, the nigga, uh, the black, the black church, man. You know? Go ahead. Second Thessalonians chapter three, verse nine. Not because we have have not power, but to make ourselves an example unto you to follow us. Yeah, that's why we do this thing, man. All right, we make ourselves an example for you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indian, the people on this side right here, man. All right, you people of Negro and Indian descent, we do this so y'all can have an example on what to do, man. We keep the laws that's commandments to the best of our ability, all right? You know, we don't go out here seeing it willfully, man. You know, we do this work, we do our videos. No. Says verse 10. Just to be an example on what you want to do. Cause that's what that's why all uh, that's why a majority of people in Christianity is Jakes, man. Even those motherfuckers that's the, out of the two billion people, whether they look like the Korean or uh, 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 Iraqi, whether they look like a fucking uh, uh, Japanese or Chinese, at the end of the day they Israelites. That's why they ain't Christianity. Cause that, they think that's the closest thing uh, to the to the Lord, you know? So that's why we do that, man, as an example, man. Verse 10, for even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. Yeah, that's a false fall, man, all right? I'm talking to uh, 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 the Thessalo Thessalonians, man, in Thessalonica, man, all right? You telling they ass if they don't work, they don't eat, and they probably came back, I got a job. I till the land, right. you know, I got cattle, I do this, I got a business, uh, you know. Yeah. That's they probably told Paul, cause the the, 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 the the dudes, if I ain't mistaken, in the accent going to the Berea, when Paul to Berea, and then Thessalonica, they was all trying to kill him and shit, persecute him. They was basically being niggas, man. So I wouldn't be surprised if one of them came up to Paul and said, oh, I work, I got a job. And just like we tell you, nigga, man, do some work, man. Do, do some real work. I got a job. I work 100 hours a week. I do this, I do that. That ain't no real work, man. Yeah, I got you. Next yeah, verse. Yeah. Verse 11, it says, For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let me go into that word, work. So like the Greek word is uh, ergos, home. It says, labor, perform, a task, minister about. Right. So that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do a task. You're supposed to perform. And that's what we're doing out here. We're doing a task of Yahweh Shimao Shah, and we're performing for him, man. It's like a calling cast, man. Hey, who is a part of the hundred? We, that's what the Lord is looking for. The hundred and forty-four thousand. All right? That's what the Lord is looking for, and it's a calling cast for that. So that's what we do. We're putting in the work by performing. All right? And, and you know what comes to mind, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's right. We are probably the service. Right now, we are probably. <laughs> no, it's like we're going to be found reading in the book, which is the, uh, the, 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 the screen, the, uh, the, the, what is the, the play, though, though. I can get the name for it, Chris. You know, the thing that the actors read before they strip? Yeah, this is the strip, man. We already written the strip, man. Lord, look. It's a lot of that. No, no, I'm reading back verse 11 to say, for we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly. Yeah, even amongst us, man, there's some that walk uh, disorderly. Uh, Apostle Tahar did the thing with the decree. You gotta do three videos, man. All right, a, a, a week, man. All right. Hey, slide the two, we talked to the same topic two verse one yesterday. Shit, cause that three videos a week, that's gonna sift a lot of brothers out too, man. Oh, man, you try to do three videos at not ten a, minutes. Not a ten minutes, man. Yeah. Come on, that's man. Not, it wasn't even like that. It wasn't even like that hard, like all. Um, or even like um, if you're doing like an hour, it's like or just like, just like increments of like ten minutes at a time, basically. Yeah, man. All you gotta do, you know what I'm saying. All you gotta do is just plan a lesson on it. Yeah, man. Right. You can read the same scripture twice, man, man and, and just break it down multiple times. It's like it's like, it's like it's, man, it's, you gotta flow. Or you gotta do it in like seriously. Yeah, 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 Ultimately, too, you gotta pray to the Lord for that understanding yeah, and the endurance to go that long. Cause really, to us, it seems simple and minuscule. You know what I'm saying? Here it is, the apostles be going for hours on end, but they know Jake got a short attention span. So you gotta pray to the Lord for that. If you sincere, the Lord gonna give it. Yeah, and if you sincere, cause I know the brother, he I, I learned it from him. He always be like, I watch, he, he watching a four hour video, he was like, yeah, I, only watch, I gotta finish watching that. I only watch an hour of that shit, you know? Hey, that's how you, that's, that shows your sincerity, man. All right, if you watching these four hour videos, the apostles do, the brothers do, man. All right, that's the, hey, that shows your sincerity, man. Cause you really wanna learn. 
I would say at a certain point too, like with, with Kim, you should get to a certain point where brothers like, it's like a child, man. The child grew up eventually, like you was on his own now. Like the child get like eight, like you know, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's like, all right, now nah, show them you do from like 10, I mean, age one on up. You got to do your own thing now. All right. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. You can be kind of good with it, but Aaron, let's say you only got 20 minutes and you got to do something you got to do. Make four two-minute videos and put it all, 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 like, all, all together. Like 10 minutes. Part one, part two, and then put it all together on your, on your whatever uh, app, app you got. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Put them all together, you know? You could be creative. You could be creative. You know, just like if a brother can't do it, you say, all right, world. Do like the brother said and, and get with a brother if you have it. You know, you can, you can figure it out. Really ain't no excuses. You know, the, the Lord said his, 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 his yoke is not, it's not heavy, roughly paraphrasing. That burden is not, it's not heavy, man. It's not a hard thing that the Lord is requiring. And one thing that came to mind was the scripture, I believe it's in Proverbs, that say, uh, the slugger will not plow by reason of the cold, and in harvest he shall beg. The water. You know, he, in, 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 in the harvest, he gonna beg, man. Because you people, like if we were just going into, that don't work, he shall not eat. Y'all gonna be begging in the time that the, uh, the judgment comes, man. Mm -hmm. Hoping for the Lord's mercy, but you ain't shoot no mercy because you didn't care for the Lord's house. He wanted you to go out and feed his sheep. And y'all didn't care for the sheep, you know? And, and it's the real work right here, man. It's the real job, man. Our occupation, we're teachers, if anybody has. And yeah, we get paid for this, man. Hey, the Lord break brothers off there, you know what I'm saying? You might get a check in the mail, you know? Spiritual. Whatever, yeah. Yeah, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, Yeah, man. Yeah, we richer than all these people in America, man. At the end of the day, man. All right? <laughs> we richer than all these people, man. Hey, cause this the real money right here. We the, we the ones who got the understanding of it, man. Come on, man. It's the real money, man. You know? That's money. Huh? Uh, Revelation 2 and 9 where he says, our original spirit. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep, yep. Yeah, he also said he chosen to uh, pour this world, rich in faith. That's the precept to it. What is that? James? Uh, yeah, James, the second chapter. Well, you keep going. I swear. Second Thessalonians 3, verse 11. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly. <laughs> yeah, that's hey, you would say that as a whole uh the whole family, man, who the Lord is dealing with. The whole nation of Israel. Some of them that walk amongst us walk walk disorderly, man. And even furthermore, people that that brothers that supposedly in this truth, man. And especially in the goddamn Christian church, man. In Christianity, everybody worried about everybody else busy, man. Going around talking shit, gossiping in the scripture, telling you not to be a tab bearer. That's when you learn any information from uh, about anything that happened in the community throughout the fucking week, go to church on Sunday. You know? They gossiping to why the pastor they ain't even fucking paying attention. Yeah, they talking about oh girl, I fucked that nigga up there yeah, in the fucking yeah, yeah. And he's sitting up there with his wife, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have yeah, I, I should have spoken. Like with that with that that fucking fan that got the bottle with the king face on there. Yeah. Know. <laughs> and, 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 you know they got the ones that crink up, go yeah, 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 yeah. the other guy. Hey right, man, that shit was so nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the nigga church out here, the goddamn Christianity is about, man. Yo, fuck Christianity, man. The Christian church, they don't even know what the word Christian means, man. And the majority of people that goes to the Christian church, they don't understand. Oh, wait, 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 let me ask you this. Is this a sincere question? Yeah. Is this answer gonna potentially help you save your life? Go ahead. How, how did they get a step ahead of us? Oh, we, we, we <laughs> you, if you can think of a scripture, because this, hey, what the Lord, what's the, fact? now you know the Ten Commandments, right? What's the first commandment that the Lord said when Moses brought the, the tablets down to the Israelites? <laughs> Get Exodus 20 and uh, 1 right quick. So ask your question again. How did they get a step ahead of us? That was your question. Now, who is that? Who, who is the they? Okay. Yeah, hold on. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. No, wait, right, right, yeah, I was gonna get this, this, Salaki, because this is basically, because I was asking the question. Yeah, 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 yeah,
chapter 20, verse 1. Right. And the Most High speak all these words, saying. Right, and, and this is who the Lord is speaking to, man. All right, the people on his side right here. Go ahead. Right. I am the Lord, thy God, which yeah. hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, right. out of the house of bondage. Right. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's the first commandment out of the Ten Commandments. And we should have no other gods before him. All right? Now, what you got? I got uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. It say, it says, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord like Yahweh. Yeah, because we didn't hearken. We didn't listen to the Lord. All right? What, what we wanted to do, we wanted to create idols of uh, gold and silver and have uh, idols and things of that nature. We wanted to serve question. other gods. My question, my right, hold on, though. We're going to go a little deeper since you got that understanding. We want to follow out the other gods. We want to follow out to these other nations. You know, the woman. You, she the wicked vessel when you think of it. People want to follow and bow down and kiss the woman's ass, but she's supposed to bow down up to you. You're supposed to bow down to a woman. You don't even supposed to bow down to your brother. You're supposed to only bow to your house by your house shop. And even when the angel came on the scene, he told him to stand up. I'm your brother, man. Don't do that shit. So this is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15 still. It say, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Yeah, because we cursed, man. Because we want to, hey, that's the first thing. Hey, that's why Adam and Eve, hey, that's why, hey, that's why we went into slavery under the Egyptians, man. All right? Because people think they wondering what the sin was that the Israelites committed or what we did to get in this. Because that's the only time we go into slavery, when we go off, man. When we do something the Lord commanded us not to do. Which lets you know that uh, 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 Adam, Adam had the, uh, the wisdom. He had the laws, man. It let you know that. Adam had the laws, man, because if not, why did why did uh, the Israelites go into slavery? Man? Oh. Can you ever think about it like that? Because what, man? Adam, they wanted to do what? Fall after the uh, false philosophy, the other gods and shit. Alright? And that and that man, and the Lord told uh, who was that Abraham Abraham that they see no for a surety that I see was going they went into, into Egypt, man. Cause cause what, man? Cause Adam, he yeah, right. That's the chosen one, man. That's who the Lord gave the, the lost that's the commandments to, man. That's right. You got something? Was it more on there? Yeah, because he got some too, real good, quick. Good, good. Go, go get that. This is Isaiah chapter two, chapter 42, verse 24. Now this probably put you in the spirit. Oh, yeah, yeah. But this, now this, the, look, oh, oh. man, this to answer your question even more. How did they get ahead of us, man? What, what happened? What went wrong? <laughs> <laughs> who gave Jacob for his toil in Israel to the rocks? Yeah, who gave Jacob? Jacob is these people right here on his side, man. All right, from oh, uh, all the way from the so-called Negro. What, what do they, what do they label you as in America? African American, right? The so-called Negro, right? All right. So from the so-called Negro on down, that's Jacob. So read it again. Who gave Jacob for a spoil in Israel to the world? A rump? spoil is basically like a, a booty, something that you just do whatever the fuck you want to with, you know? So it says, who gave Jacob to the spoil in Israel to the robbers, man? The robbers was who, man? The so-called white people, man. They robbed to get this country. But who, go ahead now, read. Who gave us that? Did not the Lord. Did not the Lord. He against whom we have sinned. He against whom we have sinned. So that's why we're in this position, man. The Lord gave us to the fucking robbers and the spoilers because we sinned against them. That's why. Hey, we under curses too, man. I know. That's right. Hey, if you know, you you committed a sin right there, man, by shaving your head bald. See, that's why you need to I didn't get know it. That. That's like, yeah, you shave your beard too? That's a sin, man. Cause they don't teach you that. Another thing, we gotta get them on camera. Right? That's another thing, man. And you and you grew up in the Christian church, didn't you? Okay, who took you? Your mom or your grandma or your father? Grandma, it's always a nigga. <laughs> but they ain't teach you in the church you ain't supposed to shave your hair. That's sinning against the Lord. Not shaving your beard, you know? So you gotta grow that, man. Now knowing that you gotta you gotta apply that, bro. Yeah, cause now you don't got no roof, ain't no cover for your sin, man. Ain't no covering cast now. So the Lord's gonna hey, it's angels watching us right now, man. And I'm, and I'm 60 years old, man. I don't even look like it, but I am. Yeah, right, you gotta grow your hair, man. You look better with a beard, man. Why you think all the women, you know the beard is the thing now the right now, man? In 2017, man. I wish I had a beard like this. You see that? Yeah, he looks scary with this beard, don't he? You gotta scare these goddamn Edomites. I'm already scared. 
<laughs> Don't get me getting over here. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's that's that's, that's sinning against the Lord, right?